next story is for all of those students of today or parents with kids at school. It's all about looking at education differently and meeting kids in the place where they're happiest, online and on their devices. Tenji has the story. Every changing technology forces us to rethink the way we live, interact and educate our youth. Kids with cell phones can't get enough of them and one group is suggesting that instead of banning them from classrooms, educators embrace them as a powerful tool. The people of Rethink Education say learners, mostly those in high school, are so bored with traditional teaching methods and software that they're just not taking enough in. They suggest the way to go is implementing teaching and learning into the familiar chat style platform, such as Mixit, WhatsApp, BBM, Facebook and Twitter. Specifically why we should move towards online or mobile interfaces is because it's just it's widely available. You've got cell phones in the most rural areas of Africa, whereas you don't necessarily have textbooks. And so the, the cell phone content, you can really update the content, it's distributed in real time, get it out there and, and get the content to the really remote places in Africa. The whole idea is to deliver broken down educational content into bite-sized bits and then present these chunks to learners as a social network styled interface. To really have a look at how the, the students are going to interact with the platform, we have to have a look at what they currently are interacting with. And that's really social media sites. We have a look at the Facebooks, very popular. We have a look at the WeChats, the Mixits, the WhatsApps. And students are really in, engaging with that form of platform. And what it is, is it's just pieces of information and bite-sized little chunks that they can really get, they process and they move on with. So that's exactly what we did. We took the content from the matric syllabus and we wrote it in this bite-sized chunk of information format that allows the students to just take a little bit, respond to it, understand it, process it and move on. And thereby you can build up to the bigger concepts that really then are tackled in, in the matric by discussing it with them as opposed to giving them pages and pages of textbook content. Since releasing the application to the public in 2013, Rethink Education has gained more than 447,000 active users. The online platform currently offers high school level maths and science both in and out of the classroom, so learners can access the grade 8 to 12 mathematics and science curriculum, and teachers have the added benefit of tracking people's progress. So how a student actually interacts with the platform was they would download the Mixit or, or WeChat app and they would navigate to Rethink Education and from there it's really almost as if a tutor sitting on the other side of the app sending them pieces of information in this text discussion so it's almost as if a tutor is teaching somebody remotely via a chat platform. We, we chose to cover the high school maths and science curriculum because maths is really a fundamental subject that students have to be able to really understand to just daily things from understanding their accounts to, to moving. Um, if we've got small time entrepreneurs in the country which is so needed then they're going to have to understand basic maths. And the maths marks in particular are just in a state of crisis in the country so we really decided that it's a, it's a compulsory subject for everyone to be taking and it's a very very high impact subject so the, the start there, physical science ties in very nicely with maths. Rethink Education has teamed up with Mixed Reach, ensuring that children all over the country are likely to have access to learning, wherever, whenever. We specifically are in the next couple of weeks targeting premium high schools to get, to get them onto our premium website as well because in using that we're going to harness off the teacher database there to really be working through our content along with the students and hopefully giving us very good feedback on our content to just improve the whole system and that way you can essentially crowdsource the best teachers in South Africa to get that content out to the millions who don't necessarily have access to them. Before, cell phones were distractions and had no place in the classrooms. Now, help solving those mathematical conundrums is just a click away on your device. Free access to education via social networking is breaking socio-economic barriers, giving all children the right to educational services they deserve. <laughs>